and these protections make it more uh, make it even more difficult for us to not only hold corrupt cops accountable but to root out problem cops as well and i think the greatest threat to any good cop is a bad cop and our job is to ensure that we're creating systems that are transparent that are countable that have a uh, civilian oversight and uh, that provides the kind of uh, justice um, that communities are calling for, but more importantly, more control, because communities should have a control over how public safety is administered in their communities. And the Law Enforcement Officers Bill of Rights uh, is an impediment to that. So if Maryland, the first state to pass it, were to repeal it, it would obviously send a ripple effect because every other state that has followed suit in passing the Law Enforcement Officers Bill of Rights will not only have a framework to work from, but also they will see that this is something that is possible and repealing it uh, means that we can really reimagine public safety as we hear a number of people to include elected officials saying.